Casey, and this is RPM Music News. For the ninth year in a row, the Foodstock Fund is bringing its annual Foodstock concert back to the Chance Theater in Poughkeepsie. This year's show will once again feature diverse music, local vendors, and incredible prizes. As always, 100% of the proceeds will benefit the Food Bank of the Hudson Valley, the Children's Home of Poughkeepsie, and Duchess Outreach. Foodstock will be held on Saturday, December 3rd, with doors opening at 5 p.m. And nonprofit perishable food items will be collected. Tickets are $20 and are available at the Chance Box Office, TicketWeb.com, or by visiting www.foodstockfund.org. The Nathans, in with the good and out with the bad. This band is known for specializing in blues, funk, and Motown R&B. On Saturday, November 26th, from 6.30 to 9 p.m. in Gardner at the Village Market and Eatery. The Nathans delight with a subtle blend of harmonies and sublime guitar work as they play some of their favorite classics as well as a host of original music from their recently released CD, Up the Hill. Come in for dinner and the show, and be sure to respect the $15 drink and food minimum to help pay for the band. Ben Basile's album, Two for 20, will be released on Friday, November 25th at the Backstage Cafe in Hopewell Junction. This Hudson Valley native Basil's debut as a composer and a band leader. Physical copies of the album will be available at an intimate performance from 7 to 9 p.m. that you won't want to miss. Digital copies will be available online at the SEAL's website, www.bendtheseal.com. Doors open at 7 p.m. The performance will run from 7.30 to 9 p.m. All ages, no cover. However, there is a suggested donation. Musicnews.com reported Bruno Mars now views his arrest for cocaine possession as a cautionary reality check. The locked out of heaven hitmaker made headlines in September 2010 when he was caught with the substance in his Las Vegas hotel room. After taking a deal to avoid jail time, Bruno pleaded guilty to felony drug possession and served 200 hours of community service, paid a $2,000 fine, and took a drug counseling course, which helped him to get back on the straight and narrow. Things couldn't be better for the 31-year-old now, though. With over 60 accolades, including a Billboard Music Award and four Grammys to his name, and three hit albums, the most recent of which, 24K Magic, was released last week. I'm Andrea Casey, and catch us next week for more RPM Music News.